Hello everyone. I thought I would give you a, a quick look at a small section of my one of my music rooms. Um, you can see I've it's it's still in pretty much disarray the the room this part of the room. So I won't show you any of the part that I'll try not to show you any of the parts that are still needing some rearranging. <clears throat> but you can see I'm starting to put st uh, some of my players on shelves. See a large brass bell horn there very early. That came with one of my triumphs. Um, and here you can see a uh, Edison Ambarola A model. These are notorious for having noisy motors, but this one actually is pretty acceptable as far as uh, motor noise goes. It's it's not bad at all. Nice smooth uh, playing Ambarola. In the back there you can see the Ambarola 30 that I featured a couple of videos ago. And uh, type AT uh, peeking out there is the uh, type, one of my type AT high trunnion uh, graphophones. And uh, there in the back there, it's just temporary. You can see it's just it's just kind of leaning on my uh, Cortez Brunswick Cortez is a. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Is a uh, poster that I've had for a number of years, probably 20 years. Um, it's a little bit unusual poster. Nothing special, but it uh, says the Swedish singer can learn from it. Anyway, the subject of this particular video is one of my Victor 1 players. Um, you can see the sun is coming in here nicely. So it's going to cast some strange shadows. We might get some sun uh, glare a little bit. But uh, anyway, so we'll talk a little bit. I'll try not to bore you with too much stuff about this. Um, but this is uh, one of my Victor 1s. I, I think I have maybe four or five Victor 1s. These were made from 1903 to 1920. This is an earlier model. Uh, or earlier version of the Victor one. Uh, it has the uh, nickeled turntable here. Very early models had a thinner cast iron turntable. Uh, all Victor ones had eight and eight inch turntable. As far as I know, and I stand corrected if, if someone comments uh, something different. Uh, as far as I know, the 8-inch turntable was original equipment on the Type O Victor, the Type Z Victor, the Victor Junior, and the Victor 1. It's kind of an oddball uh, turntable size, and the 8-inch single-sided Victor Grand Prize records are not very easy to find today. I think I have maybe... 15 or 20 of them and that's all I've been able to find in 25 years. This particular one is let's see if I can somehow get in here but it's a Billy Murray you know how I like Billy Murray hopefully you do too. This is Idaho by I believe Harry Von Tilzer there was a couple of Von Til Tilzers that did uh, composing back then and of course it's Billy Murray with Orchestra 5063. It's a, a single sided 8 inch record. And uh, I want to show you a couple of things on this horn. Uh, that's pretty bleached out there isn't it? But that's the, uh, the original decal on the horn. This particular horn has an extension. You can see it right here. These allow, this is the, of course, the original elbow, which would accommodate 
a uh, Victor one horn, uh, either a, a a brass bell horn as this one is, or it would accommodate the uh, later black flower horn. But if the customer, uh, and I don't know when these came out as an accessory, but if the customer want a little bit more oomph from their Victor One without having to, of course, buy a Victor II uh, or a larger Victor, more expensive Victor, they could opt to buy one of these extensions. And what that does is it, this extension screws into the original Victor One elbow. And then they could buy a Victor II horn, which was larger, and that would screw into the uh, extension. Okay, so that's what we have for a setup here on this uh, particular Victor one from my collection. <clears throat> I'll show you actually, if I can reach you over here behind me. This is one of my spare Victor one horns. Excuse me. Um, where'd it go? So this is this is the uh, an original Victor horn here, Victor one horn. Uh, it's hard to get the perspective here, but this is a much smaller horn. Uh, in that, this is uh, one of my extras. Uh, so anyway, so uh, there's the original crank. I'll spin this little guy around so you can. Oops, I just dropped something here. Let me spin this around so you can kind of see the other side of the Victor one here. Uh, there is the ID plate, Victor one, and of course there it's an oak cabinet, and uh, this one's in pretty good shape. Uh, it actually uh, plays quite nicely. So anyway, I'm going to take a break here. I forgot to wind it up of course so let's just take a real quick break and when we come back I'll play Idaho by Billy Murray uh, on this Victor one okay so see you in a couple seconds okay here we are back again I have put a new needle in the Victor one and I've wound it up and we're ready to give a play of Idaho by Billy Murray I hope you enjoy this uh, it's one of Billy Murray's I guess I would I would consider one of his harder to find uh, Victor recordings. Um, I think I have this on cylinder as well, two minute Edison black wax. Um, but anyway, so here we go with uh, Idaho by Billy Murray on a Victor one uh, with a uh, Victor single sided eight inch grand prize record. Oh, 
cowboy car that's in the west. But I'll do my best. Put her to the test. I will capture her someday and hold her to my breast. Then I let the parson do the rest. Ida, ho, 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 don't go so fast, dear. My heart won't last, dear. So please don't blow my Idaho. I'll kiss you if I catch you, won't you say, dear? Don't run away.